Hello, this is Lee over at 3D Palace, and welcome back to another part of our Lee Manus Inspire tank build. Um, in the last part, we went ahead and made up these exhaust pipes. In this part, we're going to finish working on the back side here, just a little bit more detail. I'm not going to do a terrible, terrible uh, amount of detail here left, so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Now, one thing that I definitely would like to do is we need some sort of um, access to the engine compartment. So I'm thinking it would be a bad idea to put another hatch back here. Right in the middle there. That's good. And I'm thinking I would like a larger oil tank. So let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, and go ahead and rotate this gentleman around 90 degrees, up 90 degrees. Okay, but you're covering up the the doohickey. Yes, I know. We're gonna pull it out, just like so. I'll move him over a little bit. Okay, relax. Because we're going to bolt it on there anyway. Bring him down. That's uh, pretty close to being about where I wanted it. Okay. Now, I'm thinking we could probably use some of these guys to add a little bit more definition back here. Okay. And I think I'll rotate them around. Let's see, 180 degrees would be good. And we can just move this over, shift and drag that over to there. Okay. This has got to come out more. Good. Okay, now let's model a little bit of detail straight onto the piece here. So let's go ahead and grab these two polys. Oh, more like this two polys. Actually, what we could do is go ahead and put a cut down. I should have done that before anyway. Let's take it from here straight. Down to there. Okay, so now we can actually get to those polygons. Okay. Ooh, what's going on here? Let's go to view. Straight. There we go. Okay, so now we can go ahead and inset those. Yeah, a little more. Okay. And let's go ahead and extrude. Let's go. Yeah, we can go out a little bit. That's fine. Actually, it'll look pretty good. Because then what I want to do is go ahead and insert them again. About like so. And we'll extrude them inward, just like so. Okay. And we're going to do a cheaty way of doing um, a complex vent structure, a very cheaty way. Um, 
not really recommended, but this is, like I said, not a game piece, so we can get kind of get away with being a little bit more poly-heavy, so to speak. So I'm going to go, you know, over here, I'm going to do a sphere, or not a sphere, I need a cylinder. Okay, but we're going to cut the sides down to three. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this, and we're going to need to make it a lot smaller. Okay, so let's, let's convert to an edible polygon here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab. Come on. Really? Fine. I just. Come on, fumble fingers. Select those, control I, and we will delete the ones we don't need just to save a little bit on poly space. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the select and move tool here to get this pretty much where I want it to be. We're going to go ahead and scale it down pretty massively. Turn that off. Okay. And yeah, we can rotate them. Ninety degrees. Right. You know, let's go ahead. And I think I'd like to affect the pivot. Center to the object. Only off. And let's get it here. So now we can zoom in. Should be able to clear its smoothing groups. Eh, it's not letting me. It's fine. All right, um, let's go ahead and just shape it a little bit. We need those. We're going to move them in. So let's go ahead and shift and drag him. Oop. Turn that off. All right, shift and drag. Down to the bottom here. Click OK. So now what we're going to do is move it up. We're going to do a few of them. Five, see where that gets us. Okay, so we need to move them over. At least these. We can move them all inwards too. There we go. That's good. Now these three need to be moved over. It's just a lot cleaner than making a bunch of cuts that we really don't need or don't want. Okay. Cancel. I mean, this back. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and shift and drag him up to here. Okay, one more. Which I thought here. Okay, let's grab these. Okay. Click OK. Cancel. Click OK. And 
we get one more in there. Okay. Obviously, we need to go back and move these all in where they belong. Okay. This one, same thing. Good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them all. Oh, you need this one too. There we go. I'm going to attach all of them. Okay, just turn the attach off, and let's go ahead and mirror them uh, along the Z axis, make a copy, click OK, we just move this over to here, basically, and there we go, we got our vent. Okay. Okay. And then one more thing here. Let's go ahead. The box. We're gonna auto grid it off of here. A very simple box. Okay. Another box. Here. And do some boxes here, but these will end up being probably bullions. Okay. Let's do another box here. We're just doing a Basic uh, greebling job here. Very basic greeble. Okay. And let's go back to cylinder. This one we're going to turn up. It's probably about 12. Okay. Here. And then. Make another one here. Okay. And then, let's see here. Do this. I'm going to do a line. I want to auto grid it. Let's see here. So now I can grab. Come on. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn it on so you can see. Enable and render. Enable and viewport. Okay, and let's go ahead and rotate this whole thing, about like so, about like so, right, move it up, let's go ahead and do its view though, to make it a little easier to work with here. Okay. There we go. I'll do a couple of wires coming off of it. You're not really going to see them, but they're going to be there. Okay.
All right, now we can come over here. And let's go ahead and convert this to an edible polygon. And I want to delete the back facing polygon. Shape, control I, and delete. I'm going to go ahead, grab all of those. We're going to throw a chamfer on it. And actually, I'm liking that chamfer. Okay, we'll turn that off, move this up a little bit, mm, let's see, we're going to want, oh, let's grab this guy here, small vent, let's put it over here for now. We can go ahead and scale him down quite a few, about like so, and zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And let's see, can we rotate him properly? Yes, we can. Okay, we can actually make him a little bigger. Excellent. Okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and grab. How about some bolts? Smaller bolts here. Okay, let's just get it over to our work area. All right, and I'm going to go ahead. And put the first one here. Then we can go ahead and grab, put one here. Shift and drag and put him here. And here. Okay. Now. I can shift and drag another one up to here. Put one on each of these corners. Okay. Here. And here. Okay. And we can put another one, say, here. This has got to be able to work on a thing, right? Whatever it is, the radio. Let's put one here. Okay. Put one here. Let's put one over here. And one. Here. Okay, and then we can go ahead and do another one here. And here. <coughs> and just for good measure. Here and here. Oh, hey, stop that. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and create an edible polygon. Okay, this one's going to be radio boolean. Misspelled, I know, doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Turn that off. Let's go ahead and select the radio. 
We're going to go back over here to compound objects. We're going to do a Boolean. Do a subtract. Add operand. This guy. Okay. And convert that to a edible poly. Okay. Come back over here. We're going to grab that. And this one and this one. Grab our scale tool. We're going to shift and scale. Okay. I do local. Okay. Don't want it to scale local on that. And we should be able to scale local on the X. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to come over here, grab these. I want to grab the top ones. Move them down a bit. Say there. And I want to grab these. Move them down about to about there. Okay. And then we're going to take these. And we're going to bridge them. I gotta do it more at a time, it's fine. Uh, max. Max, max, max. Okay, bridge. 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 Okay, let's go back to borders here. Select this border. This border. This border. This border. Okay, that one needs selecting that one. Here we can go ahead and cap them all. There we go. All right. Now the only thing left is the antennas. So we can go ahead and turn this off. Grab these and convert to an edible polygon. Go ahead and attach the other one. Turn that off. Grab these top ones. Grow. Control I and delete. Let's go ahead and grab the top ones again. This time we're going to go ahead and bevel them. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and build them a little bit more here. Now these are military antennas, so they're going to be a little heftier. I don't know if you guys have ever seen ham radio antennas, but they seem to be pretty beefy on the bottom. And then they almost disappear towards the top. So let's go ahead and extrude. Okay, we're definitely going to want to make those a tad longer. About like so. Right? Right. Okay. And then zoom in. Maybe we can do another bevel. Kind of break it a little bit. And there you go. I could put, you know, funny little balls on the top or something, but there's really no point. Okay. Right on, right on. All right, let's go ahead and turn.
turn that off. Let's turn this off. I'm gonna grab this guy here. I'm gonna do some beveling. First, let's bevel this corner here. And loop this corner here and loop or not. Jerk. Oh. Okay, so we just really want these two corners here. We're going to do a, uh, a chamfer, rather heavy chamfer here. It's about to. There, we don't want to break anything. Just want to kind of break it up a little bit. Okay. And grab this. Control. Chamfer. I'll break this to 0 0.003. Click OK. And I think that's about all we're going to do, really, with that part there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab how about this guy here. I'll throw him on the engine. About here is good. Okay. Thank you. It's about time to pick up my stepdaughter from school, so we're almost done here, guys. We're at 27 minutes. All right, I'm thinking that's probably going to be about it for the detail, actually. Um, there's really not too much more I'm going to want to throw on here. Um, we could take some of our duffel bags and make them smaller and throw them in there but that's a lot of polys that we really just don't need and it's uh, really all I'm really thinking I need on this thing right now so final step is going to be to go ahead and throw some rivets on it and we're done so in the next part we'll go ahead and add the finishing touches add some rivets maybe Add one or two more small grievals, but I think that's going to be about it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far, and I will see you guys in the next part. So until then, bye-bye.